All right, so we're going to go ahead and kick this off. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining. My name is Court Tompkins. I'm CTO here at IP Configure. And today we're going to have a brief webinar and speak for a few minutes about what is new in ORCID VMS 23.12. So 23.12 is our latest release, uh, came out last month. Um, has a couple of new features, most notably our new audit logging system that's a part of, uh, well, it's accessible in sort of all editions of ORCID, but it's a part of the recorder service, and we'll get more into that here in a second. All right, so we are going to talk about what is new in ORCID Alto, ORCID Hybrid, ORCID Fusion, and ORCID Recorder. And you'll notice we have scratched out ORCID Core. That product has been rebranded ORCID Recorder. We'll explain that a little bit here in some subsequent slides. <clears throat> All right, so just a refresher for everybody. ORCID VMS has sort of two pieces. There is NVR software, uh, what we used to call ORCID Core, what has just been rebranded as ORCID Recorder. That's the, the component of software that generally runs at your location, records video from your cameras, saves the video. It is the NVR software. It works together with a management head end that is ORCID Fusion if you're running it on-prem or ORCID Hybrid if you're running it in the cloud or ORCID Alto if you're also doing cloud recording. Um, so we're first going to talk about the features that are new in ORCID Recorder. Then we'll talk about what's new in the management system, ORCID Fusion and ORCID Hybrid. If you're used to using ORCID Fusion and ORCID Hybrid, all the features available in the recorder are also available in that central interface. All right, so first we will talk about what's new in ORCID Core 23.12. <laughs> and as I mentioned, ORCID Core 23.12 is now referred to as ORCID Recorder 23.12. And we're doing this to try and simplify everybody's understanding of ORCID as a product. Um, most of our customers are using either ORCID Fusion, where they're hosting everything themselves on site, or they're using ORCID Hybrid, where they have on site ORCID Core, now ORCID Recorder, NVRs, and a ORCID Hybrid web interface that we host in the cloud. And we think of ORCID as one big system, and we want our customers to start thinking of ORCID Fusion or ORCID Hybrid, whichever edition they're using, as one big system as well. Um, things have been a little muddy in the past, where if you're an ORCID Hybrid customer, you also have ORCID Core installed at your locations, but you install a hybrid license on ORCID Core. It all gets to be a little muddy. So if you're using ORCID Hybrid everywhere you go, whether you're accessing the local NVR on site, or whether you're, going, or whether you're uh, accessing your cloud portal, we want you to see ORCID Hybrid as the product you're using. We want the colors to be consistent, the branding to be consistent. So beginning with 23.12, your NVRs are no longer ORCID Core servers. They are ORCID Recorder, and they're branded with the type of ORCID that you're using. ORCID Fusion, if you're entirely on-prem, or ORCID Hybrid, if you have on-prem recording software in cloud management software, a cloud portal. Um, so to elaborate on that a little bit more, again, uh, I've got this example of the United Colors of ORCID Recorder. So ORCID Recorder changes colors to match the, the license type uh, that's associated with it. So the, the, the part of the bigger system that the ORCID Recorder serves. So again, our thought is if you're using ORCID Fusion, if you're using ORCID Hybrid, that is one big system. It's got two pieces. It has a management portal and it has some recorder software. We want those all to be part of the same software. So again, if you've got ORCID Fusion installed as your head end, you will have a purple ORCID Recorder Fusion Edition at each one of your locations. If you're using ORCID Hybrid as your head end, you will have this uh, red, pink ORCID Recorder Hybrid Edition at all of your um, at all of your NVR locations. Um, there's also different colors for uh, if, you're, if you're trialing ORCID in trial mode, or if you've got that standalone core license. All right, so that is ORCID Recorder. Again, it's, it's the same software as ORCID Core. It's branded a little differently now to help people understand that ORCID Recorder is a piece of this bigger ORCID Fusion or ORCID Hybrid system. All right, um, let's see here. So. The big new thing in ORCID with the 2312 release is audit logging. So this is a system where we can now save and administrators can retrieve detailed information about nearly all interactions that end users or administrators have with video inside ORCID. Um, this information is saved at the NVR level. 
um, but we can also access it through the uh, through the through the portal, whether that's Orchid Fusion or Orchid uh, Orchid Hybrid. <clears throat> so uh, we can, through the audit logging interface, see who viewed video, what recording times they viewed, and when they viewed it. So, for example, we'll see an example where uh, we search for the user Court Tompkins, and I can see, for example, that maybe he viewed video on Tuesday, and he was looking at video for 30 minutes, and the recordings that he was viewing happened on Monday, for example. So we can get really granular down to specific cameras, when the video was viewed, what video was viewed, et cetera. Um, we can also see information about who exported video. Uh, who searched for motion events, who did or uh, ORCID smart search, you know, looked for uh, video in specific regions. Um, and we can also monitor changes to cameras. So if somebody renamed a camera, changed settings on a camera, deleted a camera, all of that information is saved in this audit log. Um, so yeah, the, the audit log is available within the ORCID admin interface, either uh, on the recorder itself or through your ORCID hybrid or ORCID fusion portal. Um, so here in this example, I am looking for interactions with the system between January 1st and January 19th from a user that I've selected named Chris Uterwick. And once I've clicked search, I then get a list of all of that person's interactions with the system. So we'll go into a little more detail on some subsequent slides. Uh, so through this audit logging interface, I can filter interactions from users by both their name and their login type. So I can distinguish between local users, so locals, uh, users who logged into the NVR directly, as well as remote users, users who logged into the management portal, either Orchid Fusion or Orchid Hybrid. I can also distinguish between login mechanisms. So I can, for example, know that this user logged in through a, a SAML single sign-on platform. Maybe they logged in through Active Directory, through Google Workspace, et cetera. Um, so here again in this audit logging interface, uh, I've got a screenshot of filtering by user. I see usernames, and in this example, I am interested in an activity from a user named Court Tompkins, and I'm interested in both the SAML login credentials that he has, as well as the Google OAuth credentials that he has. Uh, this is our demo system, so we've got a couple of different single sign-on mechanisms available, and I'm interested in that user through both of those systems. Um, we also have the ability to filter by camera. So in this example, I've selected the user that I'm interested in, and now I want to know if that user has viewed video, exported video, made settings changes, interacted with ORCID in any way as it relates to uh, certain cameras on the system. Um, by default, we'll give you audit logging information about interactions with all cameras on the system, um, but I can also select specific camera names. <laughs> Um, it's also important to note here that this includes deleted and renamed cameras. So as I'm in this audit logging interface, I will see not only this, the cameras that are currently registered on the system, I'll see cameras that were formerly registered on the system. Maybe they've been deleted, maybe they've been renamed. I'll still be able to get that audit logging information out. Um, and then once I click search and I see those audit logging results, again, in this example, I've selected a date range. I've selected a user with a couple of different login methods, and I have selected a specific camera that I'm interested in. Has that user viewed, exported, et cetera, video on that camera? I now get a list of events. <laughs> and for each one of these events, I will see the resource that was acted or that was, uh, that was accessed, as well as the action that was taken on this resource. So here I've clicked one of these, uh, one of these cameras. I see that this user viewed the uh, purple, or excuse me, the uh, blue uh, action uh, notation there, as well as the resource. That was a, a camera we have called Cafe PTZ. I can click on that and I get a lot of information about what that user did. Uh, so in this example, I can see that the user viewed video between this start and stop point uh, between 8.58 a.m., 31 seconds, and 38 seconds. I can see that the user viewed six seconds of video. And uh, up top here, I can also see what time the user initiated that action. So the, the action time and the start time are the same here. So I know that user looked at live video. If this user had looked at previously recorded video, obviously those times would be different. Um, there's a lot of technical details here as well. Um, probably most interesting is this originating address. That's the user's IP address. So we can also see where the user logged in from in terms of what their client IP was. All right. Um, and then finally, uh, with respect to audit logging, we do have the ability, once we've done a query, to export all of this information as a CSV file. So, of course, I could get to this information as well through our API, 
Uh, but if I wanted to analyze this information in a spreadsheet and as part of some internal review process, I can export uh, uh, this audit logging information as a CSV file and you know throw it into Excel and we've got a ton of additional data in there that can be queried and searched and tabulated. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, that is audit logging. It is on by default for all ORCID recorders version 23.12 and above. Um, again, you can access these audit logs directly through the ORCID recorder interface, and it's also available through the ORCID Fusion or ORCID Hybrid um, portal interface. So the, the nature of these audit logs is, of course, that there's, there's no way to turn them off. Um, audit logging is always happening. Audit, you know, for audit logging to be good, it has to be done in such a way that you really can't cover up your tracks. So anytime anybody interacts with the system, these audit logs are created, and they're there to be queried by um, administrators. All right, so that is audit logging. That was the, the focus of the 23.12 release. That is the big thing that's new. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, in Orchid Hybrid, Orchid Fusion, and Orchid Alto, the, the management platforms, the 23.12 release was really all behind the scenes work. So it's nothing that's user facing, um, but there are significant performance improvements in Orchid Fusion and Orchid Hybrid for large enterprise users. Um, so significant speed ups and reduced compute footprint for large installations with a very large number of simultaneous users. I've got a graph here that's just an example of a testing server that we have internally. Um, we've got some, some customers with you know, thousands of locations and a very large number of users. Um, so we're constantly mindful of how we can continue to help those customers scale out both in terms of their location counts as they grow um, as well as their number of users. So we have a lot of test systems that we run internally. And this graph here shows the CPU load on one of our test systems where uh, we've got a test system where we've actually been able to, to multiply the traffic it gets. So basically every request that goes to um, this test site, we duplicate that request some number of times on a testing server. Um, so in this example, you can see the difference between uh, on the left where we have these large CPU spikes happening every day as we're simulating a lot of users accessing the system during business hours. Um, that was the, the previous version, 23.9. And then as the CPU spikes get very minuscule, those are the CPU load in the 23.12 version. So again, not anything user facing, but it's a, it's a performance enhancement that we're really excited about. Make sure that we can continue uh, to serve customers even as their, as their location counts and number of simultaneous users uh, really grow significantly. All right, so that is it with 23.12. Again, that audit logging capability was the focus of this release. It's something that we're, we're pretty excited about. Um, if you recall the previous release, we introduced support for SAML and ORCID Fusion and ORCID Hybrid. Um, with 23.12, we now have some greatly expanded documentation for that feature. So do check out our knowledge base at support.ipconfigure.com. We've got some uh, really useful configuration steps um, and guidance for not just configuring SAML within ORCID Fusion or Orchid Hybrid, but how to set up SAML on a number of different identity providers. So uh, if you want to get single sign-on working with uh, Orchid Fusion or Orchid Hybrid with SAML, check out our knowledge base. We've got some great step-by-step -step guidance for, for uh, several common single sign-on providers. All right, so without giving away too much, coming up in our 24.3 release, we do have some exciting stuff that not guaranteed to appear, but we're pretty confident will appear. Um, we are introducing a notion of sub-admins within Orchid Fusion and Orchid Hybrid. That's where system administrators can delegate an administrative role to specific Orchid recorder NVRs. Um, that is mostly for, for large customers that have uh, folks who are regional, like regional areas of responsibility, or maybe have uh, system integrators, multiple system integrators, multiple system installers where, you know, company A handles my East Coast installs, company B handles my West Coast installs. I don't want to necessarily make either of them administrators for my entire system, but I want the uh, integrator A to have administrative rights uh, through Orchid Fusion or Orchid Hybrid for all of their locations and company B to have administrative rights for all of their locations and keep those separately. Uh, we expect in 24.3 to have a sub admins feature that will allow that to happen. Um, we also plan to soon introduce simpler ORCID recorder replacement. So that's uh, if you have a NVR server that 
has been replaced, make it easier to swap servers out within Orchid Fusion or Orchid Hybrid and not have to basically re-enroll the server, start from scratch in terms of setting up camera groups and maps and permissions, make it easy to just swap those servers in and out without reconfiguring them. Um, there will be some additional audit logging enhancements. Um, uh, we're not audit logging new things within Orchid Recorder. Like I said, we've, we've uh, really sort of went through Orchid Recorder with a fine tooth comb and made sure that every possible interaction that, that we could think of that would be worth audit logging has been audit logged, um, but we are now adding some additional details. So for example, when somebody um, changes some camera settings with the, with the next release, we're gonna log some additional information about what types of settings were changed and specifically how they were changed. Uh, we also expect in 24.3 release to have a new way to search video. Um, you know, intentionally leave that vague. I don't want to steal the thunder for our 24.3 webinar. Um, but yeah, so exciting things happening um, in the next release. So make sure to tune into the next webinar. Um, so yeah, that is what's new in ORCID 23.12. If you'd like to learn more about this release, we always have a lot of interesting training and documentation resources available to you. Uh, you can go to training.ipconfigure.com for our free online training. Um, we've got Manuals available for Orchid Recorder and Orchid Fusion slash Orchid Hybrid at manuals.ipconfigure.com. And if you have any questions at all, go to support.ipconfigure.com. There's a knowledge base there, and there's also information for talking to our great support team based out of our office here in Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, they'd be happy to answer any of your questions, either through a, a telephone call for our toll-free number, uh, or just put in a trouble ticket. And uh, yeah, that number and ticket system address are listed there.